there's this one question I love about how it's from, I think it's from like exam 38 or something. It's an old one, but it's her. about how this guy is a smoker and he still wants to ban smoking in a public place. And normally we're thinking, oh, the smoker, of course he wants to keep smoking available to every, everywhere he goes. But the question's not doing that. That's not what they're saying. There are so many flaw questions and parallel flaw questions that just contain bizarre reasoning. And you really have to think carefully about what is the question actually saying? And if yeah. it's later in the section, especially be on the lookout. Oh, yeah. I mean, the reading of LR, is like, I wouldn't even say half the battle. I'd say it's more than half the battle um, because it's something that people don't focus on, but it's an absolutely necessary condition to not yada yada, not just it, but really know what it says. And like, that's what I hope to help people do with translation and the translation drills. And I mean, the first chapter of my book is all about how to read difficult prose. Um, which is like not something that LSAT books usually tackle. But in my experience working with people, I saw that, you know, people could be able to reason all they want if they cannot read the words on the page and remember them well and know what it said and have it incorporated into their mental headspace in a way that they can analyze it. It doesn't actually matter if they're good at logic because they don't even have the direct information to start with. It's, so, so interesting. Because like what you're saying about how you would expect it to go a different way, a lot of people, they kind of will tune out and sometimes not, or, you know, they're trying to focus, but for some, some myriad of reasons they are not. Um, and then the stimulus goes in a different direction you expect and you might not even pick it up. Um, that's why I think reading is really the first thing that you need to work on. And when I say reading, I don't mean reading comprehension. I mean the literal act of reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Strengthening yeah. your reading, strengthening your attention is like the absolute number one. I think a lot of times when we read in everyday life, in part because we're skimming, we're trying to speed, we're just trying to get onto the next listicle or whatever it is, like we're running through something and we fill in the gaps mentally. And that hurts us on the LSAT because we just, we, we read anything we're reading, like an article, we think, okay, well, we would expect the author to say this, and they probably are saying that most of the time, so we can move on, and there's no consequences when you're reading a news article, for example. But on the LSAT, they're waiting for us. They have the trap oh, yeah. ready to go.